a small block of weight W is equal to 44.5 newtons is given an initial velocity V0 is equal to 3 meter per second V0 is equal to 3 meter per second so this is nothing but initial velocity conventionally we are denoting with u right so denote with u so initial velocity is 3 meter per second down the inclined plane shown in figure if the coefficient of friction between the plane and the block is uh, mu is equal to 0 0.3 find the velocity v of the block at b after it has traveled a distance of x is equal to 15 meters so this is nothing but distance Conventionally, we are representing with uh, with x, right? So with s, right? So represent that. So this is the given data. So what you are supposed to calculate is find the velocity v of the block at b after it has traveled a distance x is equal to 15 meters. So you need to calculate the final velocity. First, let us draw the free body diagram of uh, the given block. So this is a given block, weight acts vertically downwards. So this is on an inclined plane, right? So this is the inclined plane. Okay, with the horizontal, this inclined plane is making an angle of 30 degrees, right? Weight acts vertically downwards and normal reaction perpendicular to surface. And uh, uh, if you observe there, so it is accelerating in downward direction. So frictional force will be in the opposite direction. Uh, acceleration in this direction right in the opposite direction inertia force W by G into A here W can be resolved into two components perpendicular to plane parallel to plane so this is if this is 30 degrees this is going to be 30 degrees so then this is W cos 30 and this one is W sin 30 sorry this is W sin 30, this is W cos 30. So this is the free body diagram. So now we can apply sigma Fy equal to 0, sigma Fx is equal to 0. So when I apply sigma Fy equal to 0, so n acting along positive y direction and W cos theta acting along negative y direction minus W cos theta is equal to 0. Theta is nothing but 30 there. So from that n is equal to W cos theta, W is nothing but 44.5 newtons cos theta is nothing but 30 degrees substitute there simplify it you will get 38.54 so this is the value of normal reaction you can calculate frictional force with that right so which is nothing but f is equal to mu n so mu is given as 0 0.3 and value we got that one is 38.54 so simplify it you will get 11.56 newtons this is the value of frictional force now consider sigma fx is equal to 0 so consider sigma fx is equal to 0 along x direction ok this is x this is y so parallel to the plane it is x perpendicular to plane it is y right so parallel to the plane forces are w sin theta sin 30 along positive x direction w sin 30 and next frictional force along negative x direction right minus f and it is minus w by g into a equal to 0 no other forces so w is nothing but 44.5 sin 30 minus f we got that one as 11.56 minus w is 44.5 divided by 9.81 g value is 9.81 into a equal to 0 simplify that one so you will get acceleration value is 2.35 meter per second square if you simplify that equation here final velocity you are supposed to calculate initial velocity is given acceleration you know you need to find uh, displacement also given you need to find final velocity so from the three equations you have you can have v square minus u square equal to 2 a s v square is the unknown and uh, u initial velocity you know that is uh, 3 square which is equal to 2 into acceleration value is uh, 2.35 meter per second square and displacement is uh, 15 meters 
so 15 meters from that v square minus 9 is equal to 2 into 2.35 into 15 so if you simplify that one you will get the value of v so you will get that one around 8.9 meter per second this is the final velocity thank you for watching hope you like this video if you like this video click on like button and don't forget to subscribe thank you all